Hi, this is Soulgazer. So today I got this new jersey that I was really looking forward to get this. Well, my favorite jersey so far for 2020 season. And this is Milwaukee Bucks, Giannis jersey. And this is an authentic version. And I also bought this at the team store, bought it directly, so I could get this sponsor badge. I always wanted this sponsor badge jersey, but the team store never have a sale, so I was always a little hesitant to get them, but I like this jersey so much that I just pay full price to get this. And before I get into the review, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well as liking the video. Appreciate your support. And let's go ahead into the review. So as I mentioned earlier, this is authentic jersey. I think it's been a little while since I had authentic jersey. So let's go over real quick. So they used the vapor knit. This is not the regular knit that they use for Swingman jersey. They use the dry fit fabric. This one is vapor knit. It's a different fabric. This one is a lot thinner compared to the Swingman jersey. This is made in Thailand for Swingman jersey, this part is a rib knit, but for authentic, this is actually different. This is like another tape, this part. Usually it has like a rib knit like right here, but this one is like flat, it's like a woven fabric. If you look at it closely, the angle is off. This side has a slope, this one has a little more angle. So I wish they made it a little bit more even. Personally, I like this shape better compared to this one. And this one has a little bit less warping compared to this one. So the armhole is the same fabric as this one. So this area will not stretch as much compared to the Swingman. Typically, this part stretches because it's a rib knit, but this one, because it's just a woven fabric, it does not have any stretch. This is good because it will keep the shape a little bit better compared to the knit. The knit tends to wear out faster compared to the woven fabric. So this is good. And it shouldn't have any problem because the cutout on the armhole is pretty wide. Let's look at the Nike swoosh. Unlike the Swingman, this is stitched on. It's a twill fabric, kind of like the regular uh, patch for like the logos and stuff. Same type of fabric, and they're stitched on. Fabric feels a little bit thicker compared to the print that they have on the Swingman jersey. This is the big reason that I wanted to get this uh, authentic jersey is because of this patch. It's the Harley Davidson patch. I think this is one of the best patch that the league offers. So I prefer the one with a big logo on it, but this one still looks good too. The gradation looks good in color. And this patch, this is a separate piece. It's sewn on. little annoyed by this line right here um, it was folded when i purchased uh, when it arrived and it feels like it's creased now and the horns looks pretty good the stitches are really nice and this stripe area they're actually made with different piece so there's a cut line right here 
on both sides. Same thing with the bottom. So it's made with different piece. And the patch. This is also stitched on. I don't see any issue with this patch. Looks really good. And if we go to the bottom, we have Fear the Deer. This is something new for the Authentic or Swingman this year. I think on the previous models, the regular model didn't have these. Um, there were some that had it, um, certain edition, but not all of them had this uh, slogan here. This patch is just like the swoosh from the Swingman jersey. It's like those rubber finish to it. So this is how the back looks. The neckline. It's a little uneven here too. It's pretty bad. This represents the number of championships that they won. And they won one championship, so they just won. And this is the NBA logo. So it's right below the championship patch and this is a little bit thicker compared to the swingman and it's not flat the NBA and the Jerry West it's actually a little bit more raised and let's look at the name and the number so they're all individually cut and stitched on. Same twill fabric as the logo on the front. And they're nicely stitched on. I don't see any issue as far as the stitching goes. And let's go to the number. Just like the name, I don't see any issue. The patch on the number has perforation on it. It's the same fabric, same type of fabric, but this one just has a perforation on it. And at the edge, It's green. I think this is a separate piece of fabric. Can't really tell because of the stitch, but this feels a little bit more raised. But it could be just a... Yeah, I think the lines are too clean to be a print, so I think this is a separate piece. The number looks good. The corners are very sharp right here too that's a good thing I have seen a couple jerseys where the corners were rounded it's okay but I prefer to be sharper edge so after wearing them they do feel pretty comfortable. They're really lightweight because they're authentic jersey. The fabrics are a lot thinner compared to the Swingman jersey. So you do have to be careful a little bit if you are going to wear this often. Not to catch these mesh or anything sharp because they'll probably rip a lot easier compared to Swingman jersey. If this was a Swingman jersey, this part would have been a print, which I don't mind too, but it's nice to have this as a separate piece. And I feel like this could have been a separate piece too, but it's just too much detail and too much stitching along the chest area, so probably doesn't make sense as a, a jersey to, to 
to be that detailed and have too many panels. The size of the logo, I wish it was the big one. The cream edition had the big logo. I really liked it. Unfortunately, I don't know where it went. Um, I'm hoping it's somewhere in my house, but I cannot find it. I'm, I miss it. The 2020 um, City Edition, that is a cream edition as well. But I don't care too much about the cream city. If you don't mind spending a little extra, I do recommend getting the Harley Davidson patch too. I think that's a really nice patch and it's worth getting it. If you're a big fan of Bucks or Giannis, this is definitely a good buy. So yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite pickup for this year. Nike is not making as much authentic jersey now, so it's a little bit harder to grab a jersey that I like. Let me know how you feel about this jersey, if you like this one or not. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well as liking the video. Appreciate your support and see you next time.